What makes a good controller? If I could answer that in a sentence, I think I'd make a fortune. I think the jury's still out. My opinion is someone who is creative, and by that I don't mean an artist, someone who can paint, because I can't paint for toffee. But what most controllers can do is they have a can-do attitude and they are, have the ability to think outside the box and solve problems. I'd love to know what the secret ingredient that makes a good controller is. Uh, do you know what? There isn't one. There isn't one ingredient that makes a good controller. And I think we spend a lot of time trying to focus on, on what a controller needs to be. But do you know what? Everybody's got different strengths, different skills. And it's not so much about having that, that one key skill or that one skill set that you can apply. It's about knowing what your strengths are and your weaknesses. It's part of the pure pleasure of being an ATCO is no two days are the same, no two scenarios are the same. And although you might recognise a pattern as being similar to yesterday, because of the different weather conditions, the different aircraft types, the different slightly positioning of the uh, supply of aircraft and how you've got to put them out again, it all just has a, a, a fit and you've got to be able to see that fit. I would suggest that there's not a lot of people who can beat me at Connect Four or who aren't an ATCO. Be under no illusion, um, what it takes to become from a trainee to an ATCO is tough. Um, and it's but, and we tell every individual, it's doable. Coming through NATS training is difficult. You know, it's, it's not easy. Um, one of the things is that every instructor that's here has been through the process. Um, so we, we know what it's like, but it's a lot to be faced with. There's no job, unless you've been a controller in the military or elsewhere, there's nothing that really prepares you for it. So when you walk in on day one, from there on in, everything's new. The robustness, the toughness is about being prepared to do the operational job. Um, you have to have a resilience, and that's the best word I think anybody's come up with so far in the fact that whatever you're faced with, stuff that you've trained for, you've experienced before, or stuff that's completely new, situations that are completely new, you as a controller have to assist in being a, a positive outcome.